they call James. He robbed from the rich and he gave... Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Loot Crate opening here on Pastiche of Skin. We have the Firefly Cargo Crate, the second one. This is themed as Let's Be Bad Guys. So you can tell what we're going to actually have in it. We're going to have things related to our favourite, favourite hoodlum. There's just, was it? Talent, violence, charisma, that is James. <laughs> so let's take a look to see what is inside our crate. Ooh, well, first things first, we're gonna have to take a look at the figure that we got inside here. So let's take it out to the line. How's it going, guys? Nice to see you again. Are you well? Are you good? Are you feeling great? I'm feeling fantastic. Um, this crate arrived right after I did a batch of other crates, so I'm kind of, um, half exhausted after being up working on the other ones and um, I knew <laughs> I knew this crate was coming but it couldn't have timed itself any worse just for the fact that I was actually about to go and do something else something new and creative for the channel and I end up not being able to do that because I had to uh, stop what I was doing to prepare and do this crate instead so um, I'm, I'm not annoyed at it I'm glad I received it I'm glad I actually arrived in the post because I was worried that it was going to be late like the rest of the crates have been lately. This one's exactly on time, um, exactly as it should have arrived. While the rest of them have been quite late lately due to, I don't know, massive posting errors and issues. So, well, <laughs> it, it means that you guys are going to have, or be spoiled for choice with a series of crates that are all going to be arriving in the next day, a couple of days or so. Because I need to actually get them up and available to you guys to watch. Um, so that's the reason why I rushed to get all the other ones done. So what have we got here? We got our Crate figure for Jane Cobb. Ooh, I like the look of this one. So, we had Keely in the last crate, and I was glad that they went with that rather than actually going with one of these, uh, with going with Jane or the Doctor or even Summer. Oh, well, Summer Cloud. But what is the name of the character? Um, God. <laughs> this is my mind is so fried right now. Um, end up, they went with. Kaylee for the last one, which was great. I was so happy with because she's my favorite character from the show. So you can see Jane here, of course, looking all Janey like. I'll get a better view of it here on the actual crate image video. So there we go. Get a good look at this man's face. Look at him. They're really well modeled. I actually like the designs on these uh, figured crates from Qfig. They are great detail. They actually have a really nice proportion and style to them. They don't seem to be intentionally uh, trying to do one-to-one -one human replicas but they're like getting the feel of the characters and accentuating them correctly this is a pretty good likeness though i do like it that is looking pretty cool the design of the t-shirt's well printed in um every detail is just really really well molded and painted and his guns are nicely done as well oh i'm actually trying to do one of those um rotating 360 figure image kind of like review videos at some point with some of these because they do look really nice and they deserve to have a proper little pedestal and look to them so yeah that is our Mini Masters Jean Cobb figure, which is going to go, of course, right next to our Keely. And they're going to make themselves into a small gang of good guys and bad guys, soon enough. <laughs> they look like a nice combination together. I like where they look. I, mean, I don't know if Jean's going to be standing next to her like that, but I think they're going to feel like they're all set together whenever they're all done and dusted. I'll probably take a closer look at it and actually get you a chance to see them sitting in situ with each other. So right back to the crate and take a look. Of course, we've got a t-shirt. And I'm all sure I know what the t-shirt is. I, the t-shirt has got to be... Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's one of Jen's t-shirts. I'm happy with that. I like. I love the design in this t-shirt. Um, just because it's just well made. It looks really, really cool. Um, the color on the t-shirt, like the actual like, material color. Uh, it's like the character. It's also um, a good summer color as well. Nice kind of tan or sandy. And um, this is really massive, actually. I think I may have actually... Yeah. <laughs> this is a little bit too big. I may have to actually contact them about it because even, even I might find that that's like I'm swamped in that shirt. Like that's the nighty on me, even. <laughs> it doesn't help that I've actually been losing weight as well and tuning up, so I should actually be trying to get shirts that are a little bit tighter or a little bit more snug to wear. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually nicely made. Uh, Luke here branded, so I'm assuming they actually made them or got them made themselves. 100% cotton, good nice feel to the material, feels thick enough that it'll actually won't um, stretch and fall apart very very quickly, stitching looks nicely done and like I said the print is well done as well, it actually feels like it's um, it'll last, it'll actually go through a fair amount of washes, love this one, it's a really nice shirt, 
kind of wish uh, some of the other shirts came in as good a quality as this because sometimes they just they just don't which is disappointing all right so back into the crate what else have we got in for our lovely team now oh yeah we got well same as the sticker is uh, on the outside we've got a Jamestown sticker that we can put onto stuff um I've never been a stickies person, just because they, they end up leaving marks and that near impossible to get off. If I had uh, boxes and stuff that I actually carried gear in, I'd probably throw one of these onto it. That's kind of cool though. And let's see what else we got. What's this? Stainless steel 6 ounce head flask. Yeah! That is fucking cool! Alright! I, I own one other head flask and it was given to me by an old friend of mine's um, for as a, like, a, uh, like a groom's party gift. But um, this looks nice. <laughs> Jane Cobb's throwing her roots rum. I like that. That's really nice. He printed on. Oh, cool. Just like Mama Cobb used to make. <laughs> it's like partly, partially petrol, grease, uh, lard, and whatever that green process stuff is that they used to make a cake in one of the episodes. But yeah, nice. The only thing missing from this is if they had pre-folded for us. Mm. Stainless steel one. Um, stainless steel ones, great, fantastic. Uh, you do have to make sure to take care of them uh, because they will turn it like just to get tarnished and damage over time. But that looks cool. And that's actually it's uh, branded with the uh, QM company as well, so they've actually been the ones provided this. Same as everything else that they normally do. I'm gonna pop that back into its box and keep that for safety. That is going with me on the next night out on, t on the town. <laughs> and it's like I'm drink like Ian Cobb. All right, what else we got in here? We got uh oh, what's this? Huh. The Hero of Canton commemorative coin. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright, I can get behind that. The Hero of Canton, the man they call me. It says the Ingenuity Trust on the back side of it. Worth one pint of Mother's Milk. Oh, it's got a It has the value of one pint of Mother's Milk. <laughs> I want to actually carry this around. I want to actually like hand this to somebody and get, like, see if they'll take it as tender. That's pretty sure. Um. Higgins for Moon, Red Sun System, Jane Cobb, 2513. This will be of value at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> it's got a fair little bit of heft yet, so I wonder what kind of tin pit that it actually is. <laughs> You're like clanking. Alright, let's see what else we've got in here. Okay. Ah, nice. The uh, Firefly pin. Let's be bad guys. <laughs> I like the design of the pins for this. Uh, they they don't they go away from like the traditional loot crate circular pins that they have and do individual ones. And this just looks pretty badass. It's a it's Jane's guns and him with a, a tagline phrase because the previous one was everything was shiny, Captain, which was the theme of the last crate. Now we've got another blind box Q uh, here, uh, Q bits. So I actually have two. Um, end up a friend of mine giving me theirs so I could actually have because they essentially got they had uh, Jane Cobb so I have Jane Cobb and the Doctor uh, already so if you wonder who we get this time I'm just curious where do we get in the blind box oh come on come on open it up open ah. blind box open oh I don't know what we got here oh. Oh, awesome! <laughs> That's brilliant. That's almost perfect. Oh, man. Yeah. I just slobbered all over myself because I was so happy about it. Check it out! Baby Keely! That's awesome. Oh, cool. Look at this. We mini Keely fig. So, we've got Jane in the mini, and we have uh, Doc in the mini, and I have Keely in the mini now. So, that's actually brilliant. <laughs> They're growing. <laughs> the wee minis are actually passing over the, um, the main figs. Cause I like those wee ones, they look adorable. Uh, they're quite dorbs, kind of like giant head on them. But um, that's cool. <laughs> Cause I've got Jane and Kaylee now, so like no matter what, I'm essentially, if I get the dock with Doc, I'll actually have a double. But um, that's that's pretty cool. Oh man. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm kind of giddy and excited the fact that I've worked out so well. Okay, so what else we got inside here? I'm gonna make sure I haven't missed out anything. Nope, nonsense, blue in the bottom of the grid. So, uh, confidential document, Parliament Authority Confidential, and it's sealed. Okay. And what's this? <laughs> it's in. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Okay, so it got a little bit bent up in the crate, uh, but that's pretty cool. It's actually Gene Cobb's wanted poster, uh, stats and information for his crimes, and a photograph, of course, of our leading man here, and uh, the ship last seen. So that's pretty cool. I like the design that, and it also has this. Uh, Parliament Authority on the front of it. That's that's cute. It's a cool, cute little poster. I mean, if you're already a fan of the character, that'd be kind of cool to have. 
And of course, uh, we have the signal, which is the themed booklet for the Fox series. I'm trying to think of the best way to show it. There we go. With Gene Cobb, our main man on the front. So, we're going to wait from the back to see what we got in here. Uh, Dead Fish t-shirt. Yep, that's what we got. Throwing Heroic Stainless Steel Flask. Yep, that's what, exactly what we were doing. And Gene Cobb Wanted poster, which it looks like it's meant to be ruled in this, but it actually, of course, was just closed. Um, Shepherd Book or Keeley. Well, that's our two options where we missed out. Um, Keeley would have been good, but... Oh, sorry, Shepherd Book would have been good, but we got Keeley, which so we can't really complain <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. Uh, exclusive Mother's Gene Cobb, one chit coin. We got one spare chit. And, of course, in a series of interviews with... Um, Oh, yeah. So sorry, an interview with the uh, costume designer, uh, Shauna Tripsik, from um, the TV show. Interview with her talking about the show itself, uh, how to make mother's milk. All right. So, <laughs> if you guys feel up for it, I recommend giving this a try. So the ingredients for mother's milk are a half cup of whole milk, half cup of plain Greek yogurt, vanilla optional, a third cup unmel. Oatmeal, one tablespoon of protein powder, chocolate or vanilla, one banana sliced, two teaspoons of peanut butter, two teaspoons of honey, one teaspoon of cinnamon, plenty of ice, and if you're over 21, add two shots of your favorite whiskey to make an alcoholic version. So, yeah, I'm actually, I'm so up for trying that. That actually looks pretty nasty, <laughs> to be honest. It's, yeah, uh, you know, whole milk, the whole milk and the yogurt, grand. Uh, honestly, actually... I, I'm not a fan of peanut butter. I've never have been. It's just it's, it's just something I never got a taste for. So yeah, a wee kind of like story about the softer side of Gene Cobb. Um, of course, a whole series of photographs of people enjoying their uh, Kaylee bears, which is adorable. Um, mine's end up going to my uh, little uh, nephew, and essentially I'm sure they're happy with it. Oh, and the big damn prize winners, which was the people who won the giant. Uh, figure of the ship from Firefly. Uh, designed the verse, which was a small little bit inside there. Shiny, it's to be bad guys. Okay, so yeah, in our next crate, we're changing course and going for hard burn. Don't know where we're headed. Sort of the point, stealth. You may have heard of it. We can tell. <laughs> I'm reading this really badly. <clears throat> we could tell you that we're planning to pick on a brand new, 100% exclusive t shirt designed by Shauna Tripsik. A little damn Heroes crew member figure, Mystery Cubit, exclusive interview and more. Take some pictures with your cargo and use hashtag CargoCrate on social media for your chance to appear in the next uh, issue. Alright, so CargoCrate, I'll make sure to take a snap and do whatever else, but yeah, that was the signal. Cool. The crates are looking good. Their content is actually exactly what you expected. There, there's a lot less mystery about the uh, cargo crates because you know you're getting that uh, Cubit figure, you're getting your um, mini heroes figure. There's no real kind of like surprise to how the crates are actually being made up, which is I know, the disappointing part of buying a specialized crate is in the fact that you know exactly what you're getting a lot of the time. Um, I'm still happy. I'm, still, I'm happy to be building a Firefly Curlet collection of characters. It's fantastic. Uh, but so I'm not going to complain about that. The crates are. The t-shirt is something that you can wear. I personally would have thought it'd been cooler to get the uh, the hat, which I think was the mini crate reward or the me mini mega crate reward it was like 20, 30 of those were going out. I would have been happier with the Jane Cobb hat, but at the same time, as I completely understand because of the time of the year, we're going into the summer, so going a, a nice t-shirt was a smarter move. It really was. So yeah, that was the Firefly crate for. Uh, month of May or June I think it is. I think that's actually the June create because the last one was a uh, March create. March, April, May, June. Yeah. So April, May, June. So that's essentially what it was. The um, These come out bi-monthly. You can of course sign up for them and try and get the previous crates uh, if they do a sale or so on at a later point. But as it is now, I think they have sold out of the... They sold out of the first run of the crate. I don't know if the people kept it on for this one. So uh, they'll be continuing to get these every two months for the next uh, year or so. So that's actually like six crates still to be got. Four more figures to actually be added to the collection. I'm sure we'll actually work our way through everybody from Shepherd Book to the captain himself. I'm looking forward to seeing who we get next. 
So thank you very much guys, this has been a video for Passage of Skin, just checking out Firefly Loot Crates. I will see you guys soon, uh, there's a lot of stuff for you to check out this week. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, and just hang out in the comments and say whatever you want. You can also check us out on MZ. MZ actually has a uh, group for Pastiche of YouTube, which is the... MZ group for this channel. You can also find me on the YouTubers group in there as well. So if you're on MZ, go and check it out. If you want an invite to MZ, uh, give us a shout in the comments below. I can send you an invite to join the community and that's an easy way to get in because they have a very limited beta currently before they actually kind of decide to take over and remove Reddit as the top king of everything on the internet. So uh, of course, always remember you choose the link below to see if you want to get a discount on your own crits. Always check out the Crunchyroll link to get yourself a discount on that. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.